All right, ladies and gents, tonight's beer is Spaten Premium Lager. Now this is a German Hellas Lager. Oh boy. Now, it's been a while since I reviewed a foreign beer on this show, but I promise to do uh, more very soon. Uh, my beer reviews have been kind of scatterbrained and all over the place lately just because I've been so busy with work and transferring jobs. But I have a full-time job now, and uh, I, my schedule uh, will be a bit more tight, but uh, I will have more time because, you know, I don't have work at night or whatever now. So I can just, you know, I can do beer reviews more and hopefully uh, more consistent. Not like every day, but, you know, I'll be able to do it like maybe like three or four times a week. So hopefully more beer reviews are coming. Well, more foreign beer reviews are coming and more uh more more liquor reviews we'll see but yeah um you know uh yeah <laughs> i say we we hop right into this i've i have plenty of uh spot and glass where i have like two glasses i think but i don't think i've ever really reviewed a spot and beer before so yeah might as well try it out so without further ado i say we open this up and uh check it out nice logo here nice uh nice little shield with the 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 spot and logo yeah nice green bottle Cool. I typically prefer brown bottles because it blocks UV radiation from the sun. If that gets into it, it can skunk the beer, but you know, whatever. You know, that's why I try to avoid more green and clear bottles. Brown bottles the best, but you know, whatever. Got a nice uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon uh, bottle opener right here. And let's, uh, let's open it up. All right. Nice hiss. Nice pop. Oh boy. <laughs> I think it might be skunky. These were sitting on a shelf in a refrigerator for, for months at this one store I went to. I was hoping. They're not out of date, so we'll see how this is. I got a nice spot and mug right here. Let's pour it in. Yeah, the green bottle too. I was like, oh god, this might be skunky. But, you know. Can't be as bad as a skunky Heineken. Oh, I might have done that too early. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, but... Uh, why do I ever pay attention to anything? Let's be real here. Okay, now this is looking better. Okay, cool. It's only a 12 ounce bottle. Is it 12 ounce or is it 11.2? 12 ounce. So it didn't fill up the whole glass. But, as you can see, it's got a nice uh, clear golden color. Very, very nice golden. Very pretty. Um, very see-through and transparent, you know. It's a filtered lager. And it's got a very nice frothy head. Oh yeah. A nice mug too. Good vibes. Let's give it a whiff. Oh yeah. Definitely that nice hop skunkiness. Typical and more uh, German uh, German lagers. Cheap ones, that is. But not necessarily a bad sign. Let's give it a taste. <sighs> Ooh. That's actually very nice. Mmm. Ooh. Nice hint of sweetness. Not not but like not a lot of American lagers are typically really heavy on the sweetness, but this this is more subtle. It's actually very nice and refreshing. Um it's got a bit of a kind of a malt characteristic in there as well. And also a little bit of a nice bitterness at the end. Ooh. Some nice slight hoppiness. Ooh, some nice more like to more toasty um Ah, man, like more like toasty kind of sweet flavors. That's probably from the uh, the malt presence. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. The smell um, can be a little off putting at first, but this is actually very nice. There are like more beers that kind of have like, a more skunky smell that are still very very nice, and this is one of them. Again, the the skunky beer that I do not like is Heineken, and I'll talk all day about that. <laughs> but yeah. If you want to drink a beer that's better than Heineken, um, but still kind of has sort of a similar feel, just tastes better, this is one of them. This is great, and I got a six-pack of it. I'm pretty happy about that. Hell yeah. Mm. Very nice, very solid and tasty German uh, lager. Yeah. Hell yeah. I recommend. Good stuff.